Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Sam. I'm a professional hairstylist and today's video, I'm so excited. So you guys know I occasionally like to share client story times with you. They're entertaining and I always share the lesson that I learned from them. So one of my subscribers, Christina, commented on one of my videos a while back suggesting that I take story submissions from you guys who are also hairstylists and react to your terrible client stories. And I thought that was such a good idea. So thank you so much, Christina, for this awesome idea. So she emailed me her story and I haven't even looked at it yet, but it is long, so I'm excited. Ooh. If you guys like this type of video and you would like to participate, if you have a crazy story that you would like me to share in a video and react to, then go ahead and email it to me styled by samvey at gmail.com. I will have that down in the description. So let's just jump into the story. I just said, I sincerely wish I was making this story up, but I can promise you, I couldn't in my wildest dreams ever fabricate this story. This story is what I like to call my jet black thunderstorm. A middle-aged woman comes in with waist-long jet black hair, beautiful, thick, silky soft, undamaged hair with very minimal split ends, a dream client. She was wanting to get rid of the gray that recently started coming in. My boss referred her to me because everyone knows how much I just love long hair as I have super long hair myself. She sits in my chair and I start her consult. Together we decided to cover up her new growth of gray with a permanent hair color, cut off a few inches, and add some texture with some long layers. I finished her up and styled her out with beautiful loose curls. She loved it, I loved it, everyone in the salon complimented her on her beautiful hair. I have honestly never seen a client so excited in my life. She couldn't stop thanking me and asked if she could give me a hug. She was just the sweetest person I had dealt with in a very long time. Don't you just love that? I feel like anytime there's a horror story, like majority of my experiences with terrible clients always start out really good, right? Like they seem so lovely. You have a great conversation. They like everything's just going really well. And then it's like they just pull the rug from under you and you're like, oh, then they just go crazy and hate you out of nowhere. Before I took her to ring out, we discussed her coming back and since she had never colored her hair before and with her hair being so healthy, we scheduled for four weeks, but I told her she was more than welcome to call sooner to see if I had an opening if she was getting uncomfortable with her regrowth again. I rang her out, gave her a card with the time and date of her next appointment with my phone number. She handed me a tip and she very happily left. I had just stuffed the tip in my pocket. It wasn't until later at lunch that I pulled my tips out. Not only did this woman love her hair and rescheduled with me, but she'd given me a $100 tip. I was so shocked. All of my coworkers were jealous thinking I had just hit the jackpot of clients. Working in a salon, you know how it gets. Oh, definitely. Two weeks later, the woman comes walking back in the salon. Mind you, she had my number and could have called or texted previous to showing up. I was booked for the day and I got nervous about losing her because I knew I wouldn't be able to accommodate her that day. This is when all hell broke loose. She walks up to the counter, looks at me with a look that could kill someone, takes a deep breath and seriously lays into me. She starts screaming so loud that everyone in the salon and my boss stop what they're doing to look our way. This is where it gets interesting. Oh God. She's screaming. She put this in all caps. You lied to me. What kind of establishment is this that you lied to your clients? This is not acceptable. Not acceptable at all. I'm so lost. I have no idea what she's talking about. I didn't usually let nasty clients get the best of me, but I was so bewildered. I just stood there for a second, trying to make sense of what was unfolding in front of me. I slowly mustered out the words, ma'am, please calm down. We can discuss this rationally. Could you please explain to me what the issue is? She doesn't calm down. She doesn't calm down at all. At this point, she is more mad than even before I had stopped her. And she screams, you told me this is permanent hair color. This is not permanent. I am so angry that I could punch someone. Oh my God. I feel like when somebody is like really hostile like that, if they were kind of like giving you problems from the beginning or they were like giving off red flags, it's like you kind of expect it. And so it's not, I mean, it's terrible regardless, but especially when it's someone that like was so nice and they were so happy and everything was going so well, you got along, they were so sweet to you to like see their personality, just do like a 180 like that 
catches you off guard so much and I feel like it's even worse because you're just like what happened like where did this really sweet happy person go I have a feeling I know where this story is going <clears throat> okay at this point my boss intervenes as we aren't sure if she was threatening me or not my boss tells her to please calm down we would hate to have to call the police over a matter that I'm sure we can somehow settle could you please explain what you mean about your hair color not being permanent then the bomb drops the woman continues yelling red in the face my hair is turning gray this is not permanent <laughs> she has this in like all caps with like a bunch of teas. My boss tells a coworker to get the woman a water and asks her to sit down and calm down so he can talk to her. The woman obliges and calms down, then she starts sobbing uncontrollably. She begins to say, the girl told me that it was permanent hair color. Why is my hair turning gray again? This was a lie, a scam. I should have known it was too good to be true. I spent so much money and my hair looks the same. This was the moment it hit me and it hit me like a semi filled with bricks. This woman thought that putting permanent hair color on her hair would forever make her hair grow out whatever color was applied. For a second, I thought I was being punked, like this was a bad TV show, but the woman sitting in the chair sobbing uncontrollably told me different. I hadn't explained well enough, I hadn't made sure well enough that she understood what regrowth was, why she was coming back in a month for a touch-up. I felt like a complete failure, but we somehow had to explain to this woman that yes, it was permanent hair color, but no, it wasn't going to alter the color of her regrowth. <laughs> that. That's exactly what I figured would happen. I've heard this before. Luckily, I've never had a client flip out on me because of this, but I have heard people say that even when they go to the salon to get their hair done, their gray still comes back. <laughs> it's just amazing to me because like, I feel like even way before I was a hairstylist, like this is something to me that is just completely common sense. Your hair, grows out of your scalp and even like you color it and yeah that's gonna change the color of the hair that's currently visible but new hair is gonna grow out of your scalp and if you're starting to gray your hair is gonna just continue being gray if anything it's just gonna keep getting grayer over time like there's nothing you can do about that. One of the story time videos I did, I was talking about this woman who was really unhappy with her color and she was like, well, why does in the picture, the hair looks like ribbons? Cause the inspiration photo of the girl had waves in her hair. And like, she didn't understand that straight hair is not going to look exactly the same as hair when it's curled. And like, people were saying to me like, well, you should have explained that to her. And yeah, I should have. But to me, that's common sense. And it's just something that I wouldn't even think needs to be explained. You know what I mean? Like it, it never even occurred to me that I would need to explain that. And sometimes too, like you don't want to insult the person's intelligence by telling them something that I think most people would think is so obvious, right? So I totally understand like in that moment feeling like you were the failure, but it's like, do you really need to explain something like that to somebody? Uh, apparently you do, but... After some deep breaths, I bent down in front of the chair and looked up at her. I said, ma'am, I'm very sorry that you feel as if you wasted your money or that I lied to you and scammed you, but I promise I haven't. What I did fail to do was to help you understand what regrowth is and why we were scheduling a touch-up two weeks from now, and for that I am sorry. Would you allow me to explain and make this right? She didn't speak, but with tears in her eyes, she shook her head yes. So calmly, I said, permanent hair color is color that doesn't wash out as opposed to semi-permanent or temporary hair color that eventually washes away. It can only color your hair that has already grown out of your head. It does not change the fact that your hair is now growing gray. It's just like how your hair used to grow jet black from your scalp, but now it's not so black anymore. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that's why hair color is so cool because you don't have to accept that change unless you want to, but nothing can actually change what color your hair grows. It was very obvious that what I was saying finally sank in and the look of complete shame filled her eyes and more tears rolled down her face. It made me start to cry as well. She said, oh honey, I feel so dumb now. I don't know what I was thinking. You were right. You did tell me about regrowth and touch-ups and discussed about me coming back if I was feeling uncomfortable with my regrowth. I told her that she wasn't dumb. There was just a misunderstanding and I'm very sorry that her, and I'm very sorry that hair color doesn't work that way because a lot of people wished it would. 
My boss made sure everything was cleared up and there were no hard feelings. She left and none of us knew what was going to happen from there. Because of this situation, I was behind on my next client whom I was waiting to come in when the woman with the jet black hair arrived. She patiently waited and when I called her back and started to apologize for the wait, she stopped me mid-sentence and said, it's okay, honey, you have already had a hard day. Since I was just getting a haircut, it can wait. I will call you tomorrow to reschedule. Here, buy lunch on me. She handed me a $20 bill and almost ran out of the salon before I could say anything. I stood there and cried. That is a really sweet client. Oh my God, wow. It's one thing to be like, oh, it's fine. I can reschedule, no big deal, but to hand you money to buy lunch? The client for the haircut did text me the next day to reschedule and lo and behold, the woman with the jet black hair showed up two weeks later for her retouch, bringing me flowers and chocolates and profusely apologizing, aw. She didn't tip me $100 ever again, but for the next three years, she always brought me chocolates and a smile. I no longer work in the salon, but I always wonder whatever happened to her, and I was happy that she wasn't too ashamed to show her face again. I will forever be grateful for her, her amazing conversations, and her chocolates, even if we did get off on a bad foot. I learned from then on to be very explicit with my consultations and to triple check before and after if they had any questions. It was very much a learning experience for everyone involved. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Christina, for sending in your story. That was a good one and many lessons to be learned from that. For stylists out there, you know, like I said, there's some things that, you know, somebody brings in an inspiration photo and they're like, I want my hair to look exactly like this photo. And the hair in the photo was styled a certain way. And so in order for their hair to look exactly like that photo, they have to do that same style every single day or maybe the photo was taken outside in natural sunlight so their hair color is going to look different inside like it's going to look darker in a darkly lit room than it would outside in natural sunlight or in this situation with the regrowth you know your roots are going to grow out these are things that are pretty obvious to most people or at least to hair stylists like these are we wouldn't even think twice about stuff like this it's just like yeah duh right but some people don't realize, to some people this isn't common sense. And you can still do an amazing job with their hair, give them exactly what they asked for, but because they don't understand these little common sense things, it could completely devastate them and make them super unhappy and hate their hair and think that you didn't do a good job, you didn't listen to them, you didn't deliver what you promised them, even though you did. You know, it's like, it just comes down to having good communication and making sure that you are as thorough as possible during your consultations. Also, I love the way that she handled the situation when that client came in, because when somebody is coming in and especially when they are so worked up and they are being so hostile and they're screaming in your face and they're being rude and disrespectful, it's so easy to be rude back and to get angry and to just you know, react to them. But the fact that she was so calm and respectfully explaining the situation to her, I think made all the difference. Because imagine if she had just came back at this woman and was screaming right back at her and was like, get out of here. She would have never understood the situation. She would have continued thinking that the stylist lied to her. She would still be super mad and unhappy and feel like she wasted her money. And she never would have came back. She would have maybe went and left a negative review. You know what I mean? It just would not have been a good situation. So the fact that everything was able to get resolved was all because of the way she handled it. So stylists out there, you need to remember whenever somebody is unhappy, whether it's actually something that you did wrong or not, you need to first and foremost <sighs> calm down, stay calm. Even if they're like attacking you as a person and they're telling you that you suck and you're the worst hairstylist ever and they hate you and you're a liar, don't take it personally and focus on calming them down first. And notice too that when she came in, what was it that she said? She just came in screaming and said, you lied to me. What kind of establishment is this to lie to your clients? This is not acceptable. She didn't calmly come in and explain I'm a little bit confused because I was told this was permanent color, but my roots are gray again, right? She instead just came in screaming and was not clear at all about what was wrong. So you need to approach calmly, try to calm them down, and then have them explain to you what exactly the issue is. Because a lot of the times when people are upset about something, they're not gonna be super clear and specific. I love how she asked her 
she said, I bent down in front of her. I said, ma'am, I'm very sorry. You feel as if I wasted your money and that I lied to you. W would you allow me to explain and make this right? And I love that. Like the fact that you asked her first, like you didn't just come off defensively like, well, no, it's because your roots grew out and it is permanent color. Because even if what you're saying is logical and it's absolutely 100% correct and true, that to the client who already is like upset and not happy, it's just gonna seem like you're just making excuses for yourself. The fact that she repeated back what sh what the client had said to her, it shows that you really were listening. I'm sorry you feel as if I wasted your money, that I lied to you and scammed you. And then also admitting the blame, even though she didn't do anything wrong at all whatsoever, but admitting, you know, oh, I failed to help you understand what regrowth is. Even though you did explain to her that she needs to come back and that she, you know, is gonna have regrowth and that if she feels uncomfortable with it, she can come back sooner. Like, she did explain that, but even still, like, admitting I should have been more clear with you and I'm very sorry about that. I just feel like it feels good from the client perspective to hear and I'm sorry. This is something that could happen to literally anyone. To me, it doesn't sound like she messed up anywhere. Like she did a great job with the consultation and with the whole experience. I mean, enough so the woman tipped her a hundred dollars, right? But even still, she could have been a little bit more thorough. And that's why I love sharing these stories with you guys, because I feel like we can all learn from them. It's like something so small as just explaining regrowth could save you from a whole big blowout situation like this. And not only that, but it shows you how you can handle the situation, what you can do if something like this does happen to you. It also shows you that you're not alone if you ever have a client that comes in screaming at you because when that happens, oh my God, it makes you feel terrible. And it is hard to not take it personally. It's, you feel like you're alone and you're the worst stylist in the world and oh my god i can't believe this happened to me especially if you're a newer stylist but oh i i really feel bad for that lady and whenever somebody comes in and they're just like that worked up it always makes me think like what is going on in their personal life that is making them react this way because i wouldn't be surprised at all if this lady had other things going on and you know, her hair was just kind of like the icing on top of the cake or like the straw that broke the camel's back. So that's another thing to keep in mind too. Like if somebody is coming in and they're screaming at you, it's like, yeah, it's not cool. Like you shouldn't allow people to disrespect you and be rude and make a scene, but giving it right back to them is not how you handle the situation. You have to be a little understanding too and realize that maybe they have something else going on and this isn't just about their hair and about you, you know what I mean? So again, Christina, thank you so much for sharing. I hope that you guys learned something from this story, found it entertaining and can relate to it a little bit. Anyway, that is gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these story time videos, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And like I said, if you would like to participate and you'd like me to react to your client story times, then go ahead and email them to me, styledbysamthey at gmail.com. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.